In this movie, we'll be looking at the various ways in which you can add new product information into Stardraw Design 7.2. Although the product library today contains about 100,000 symbols from around 800 manufacturers, you will from time to time encounter the situation where we don't have the particular product that you want in the library. If this is the case, we ask that users with a current subscription go to our website and make a product request. The website of course is stardraw.com. Click through to the Stardraw Design 7 area. Go to the support pages and click on the link to request products. Here you can make a new request and simply put in the manufacturer name, in this case Acme Electronics, the part number and a brief description. Click on OK and that request is now folded into the product request system and this page also shows you the status of all of the requests that you may have made in the past. We ask that users request products because with registered users of Stardraw Design 7.2 in over 80 countries worldwide and serving all kinds of different markets we actually have no idea what particular products might be important to you. So please tell us and when you've told us, when you've made that request, your product will be prioritized in the list of products to be added to the library. It can of course take some time for product requests to be published. So if you need your new product straight away, the best thing to do is to use the user-defined product wizard. You find this under the tools menu, choose create user-defined product, and here we simply set some manufacturer information, set a model number, and give it a description. The categories can be used to create subfolders within the manufacturer listing to organize your UDPs. Click on the next button and in this step we decide what kind of symbols to generate. So there is a symbol type for each of Stardraw Design 7.2's drawing environments. We'll begin with a block schematic symbol. So in the first step we set the number of input and output ports. So this product has four audio inputs, two video, a control input and a power input, and two audio outs and a video out, so it's some kind of switcher. We can use the next step to customize the labeling on our input and output ports. The next step allows us to set a glyph or an icon to represent the function of that product. And that has now created a block schematic symbol. Let's also create a rack layout symbol because this product might be rack mounted. So in this step we set the width of the product, in this case I'll use 19 inches because it's rack mounted. We set a depth of say 300 millimeters and a height of 3U. So this is one of the rare places where it really makes sense to mix up your units. When we click on next, we now see that we've got a block schematic symbol and a rack layout symbol. And if I click on finish, this product is now created in my library and it will appear under the user defined products category. And there it is. Then when we drag the product into a block schematic drawing, we get the block schematic symbol. And as you can see, the symbol fully conforms to the Stardraw Design 7 specification in terms of layers and colors and sizing. There's our customized label. And if we go to another drawing type, like a rack layout, we'll see that the basic rack layout symbol is also available for my newly created user-defined product. There is another way of adding new products, which is particularly useful if there's already a product in the library which is similar to, but not exactly, the product that you want. So, for example, let's say that QSC have brought out a new amplifier in the Powerlite 3 range, and it's the PL325A. If we right-click on the product in the product browser, we can create a new user-defined product from the product. This again fires up the UDP wizard. We can set a new model number, for example, and by clicking on finish, we've now created this new product based on the existing product. Now let's say there are changes. I can right click on the user defined product 
and edit the symbols for that product. This takes me into the UDP editor. I could then, for example, remove some parts which are no longer used in this new product. And you'll notice in the symbol editor, which can be identified by the grey background, there is a tab for each of the symbols that represents this particular product. So if we go to the Rack Layout tab, and bear in mind this is now a single channel amplifier, I could, for example, just remove these elements of the symbol. When I click on Save, that saves all of the symbols for the user-defined product. Close the symbol editor, and now when I go back and use my new PL325A Professional Power Amplifier, drag it in, and there you can see the edited symbol. There's one other way of adding a new product into the product browser, and that is by using any drawing objects that appear in your drawing. So in this project, let's take a look at the panel layout drawing. And let's say I want to turn this for you connection panel into a new user-defined product. Well, I select it, right click, and choose create user-defined product from selection. This again allows me to define product information. So let's call this an FP101, and it's a panel. And we now have a panel layout symbol. That creates a new product under the user-defined product folder. And now what I want to do is turn that panel layout symbol into a rack layout symbol. So again, I will edit symbols, opening up the symbol editor, go to the panel layout tab, choose all of the elements here, copy and paste into the rack layout drawing. If we then zoom in, I'm going to align all of these to the grid. So we'll align the left of the panel to the grid and the bottom of the panel to the grid and then put the insertion point on this cross which means it'll be easy to drag this product into a rack. So let's save that, close the symbol editor, go back to the rack layout drawing and if I make some space for that new user-defined product, we can find it under Acme Electronics. It's an FP101 panel, and there it is dropped nicely into the rack as a new rack layout product. So those are some of the ways that you can add new products into the product browser in Stardraw Design 7.2. Thank you for watching.